we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the makeover of my master bathroom. This bathroom is a standard apartment size bathroom with just one cabinet as a storage and there is a corner glass shelf unit. We have this back door hanger and this cabinet does not has any storage per se any shelf also i want to tackle the hard water stains on the tap so i'll start with the cleaning process i am using sif this really works well for any hard water stains you just apply it with a rag and then leave it for 5 minutes and then rinse it off with water make sure that you dry all droplets of water on top i'm making this beautiful artwork as a decor piece for the washrooms Both the artwork came out really beautiful and I'm going to pull colors from these paintings itself so the entire decor will be inspired by these two paintings Now for one of the frames I am using old poster frames it does not come with a glass or a acrylic sheet inside it and also the white border that it comes inside i don't know what it's called but uh, i'm trying to create that for this i'm using a thick cardstock like paper and with help of a scalpel i am just cutting a square fit enough to put that painting in and this is how it looks like as a replacement for the glass or the acrylic sheet i'm using a shrink wrap paper comes like a plastic and with the help of heat gun you stretch this sheet to stick these frames i'm using these stick on hooks usually they come a little protruded as you can see with help of the pliers i'm just pressing it inwards so that it becomes a little more vertical and flat on the surface and it will be easier for us to hang the frames On canva.com I created these minimalistic labels which I used in my guest bathroom makeover as well. The video will be left in the description box below. To organize all the lotions and shampoos, body wash, I'm using these amber color bottles. I got this from Amazon. It just looks very cohesive. Instead of using the same plastic bottle of different shapes and sizes, I have created this minimalistic label and currently I was confused which one to use. I personally like this uh, minimalistic look of label and some negative space on top. This I feel looks a little off for this particular bottle or style. I am going with the larger label. Let me know which one was your favorite. Another hack for labeling all your bottles is lay down flat and measure where you are putting the labels and make sure all the labels are on the same level. It gives a very professional look to the labeling. If your labels are one is up one is down it just does not bring the cohesion to the eyes and it's too much busyness uh on all the bottles so try to make sure that they are almost on the same level now just to make this waterproof i am using some clear cello tape though the label of <laughs> the sticker said that it's waterproof but i was not sure and neither i was taking any chances 
I am painting these uh, back door hooks in black. Let's organize the inside of the cabinets. For this, I am using a shoe rack that again I got from Amazon. It's decently sturdy, holds all my bins and baskets properly. The first thing that I add always is uh, this absorbia. It is uh, a lifesaver in Mumbai because it absorbs all the moisture and humidity inside the cabinets. If you know any hack to remove hard water stains from plastic, let me know. The top of this basket has gone really nasty. I just want to make it proper back again. These red bins are again from Amazon, so are the brown ones. I'm not a big fan of the red bins, but I bought it almost 8 years back and that was the cheapest one available that time. And that was my only budget. I'm still holding on to these because they're pretty sturdy. These stick-on hooks are the lifesaver here and they hold pretty decent amount of weight. Uh, I'm using this to hang all my wipers, scrubs, my cleaning gloves. To hang the cleaning gloves, I'm also using these paper clips. I found these uh, soap hangers on Amazon. It also has a hook to hang all your loafers. For Ishi, I am hanging three hooks. To hang her clothes while she is in washroom because she is unable to reach the back door hangers. Give the space finishing touches. I start with my frames because this is where the color scheme is coming from. I also fill these two IKEA boxes. They come in set of three. I'm just using two of the bins here. One for the Q-tips and one for the for the cotton pads. If you watch till here, please consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment which was your favorite part of decor or something that you think that I could have improved. For the small plant here in the corner adds a green fresh touch. I am using this ceramic plate to carousel all the things that we need on the counter like moisturizer, face lotion and a face wash. Adding a small candle, a room freshener. I always like to put this as a triangle and add few drops of essential oil inside the teepee and seal the teepee with this watermark. It just gives such a star hotel like look. Now another hack to keep your bathroom feeling fresh and smelling really good is adding few cotton swabs inside the bins and baskets of yours loaded with essential oil again adding some blue color towels these are some cute soaps of ishi and adding these shampoo bottles lotion bottles I have also added a curtain despite we have a glass partition. It just makes our job easy of cleaning the partition. Adding a laundry basket which is a hanging version with a small pocket in front. And let's take the final tour. Before I'm
I'm doing that.